Look how clean this image gets on the right side. So this was the before, you can see all that noise and look at the right side, it's pretty much a clean image of this bird. Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you my top 10 Photoshop editing tips and tricks so you can not only shoot good photos but also post process them in a way to create absolute bangers. These are all in a random order so I suggest you watch until the end so you know them all and I'm pretty sure you're gonna use most of them in your photos. Enhance your highlights. I got this beautiful raw photo from Lisa and what I want to do here is I want to make sure the highlights of the main subject, in this case the deer, are popping out. So I'm gonna create a new layer, then go to edit, select fill, and here you wanna select 50% gray, so we are creating a new layer on top of our photo, change the blend mode to overlay, so we won't see this layer anymore, but if we are taking the dutch tool, we will see what we are doing in this image. So we can really control this layer by just brushing here and changing the opacity here. Now, here you can set the highlights, midtones and shadows. I wanna go for highlights. The exposure is set at 10. I think this is enough. Let's try out by brushing the highlights. So you can see here, we have some highlights here. And what I would do is I would just simply brush these areas lighter. Then we can go on here and just simply do this on all the highlights in your photo. And at the end, you will see a really cool result of the highlights popping out in your photo. You can also do it on the fur. Just make sure don't do it too much or else it gets really white and you won't see the details anymore. So try to do this precisely, especially on the edges. It creates a really cool effect on your photos. I'm gonna do this quickly so you can understand what I mean. Maybe make the brush a bit bigger, brush a bit more like there. Let's see here, and let's also do a bit here, maybe on these. You can also do the eyes if you want to, to really see the emotion of the animal in the eyes. And also a bit here, here, here. I'm just doing this quickly now, but obviously you should do this a bit more precisely than I. I'm just trying to keep this short to show you how it's done. Now, you can see here, if I compare the before and after, you can instantly see the difference what it makes by brushing these. Now, if you brush too much, sometimes you brush a bit too much, you can just simply drop the opacity here and really control this whole layer. So try this out. You can also duplicate this layer to give it more effect if you want to, but I think this is way too much. So do this precisely on your image and try it out to see how cool this will make your image. Boost your lighting. You can see this photo I took from this bird. It's pretty dark. It's pretty much a raw photo. The only thing I did was increase the exposure just a little bit to, to see this better. And usually what I do at the end, when I'm done with editing, I add a curves on top of everything and I take the highlights and I move them a bit to the left. And you can see how easy it is to get more lighting in your photos. And while you're doing this, also take the black tones and move them a bit to the right to get this nice black, rich black tones. So that is something you should do at the end when you're done with everything. Just add this as an extra, don't go all the way there. You can see the whites are really popping out now, but it's way too much. So keep it like somewhere here. Depends on the photo, of course, but I would like to keep it somewhere in between the first row. I got this other beautiful photo from Lisa, and this is also a raw photo. And the next thing I would like to do is to show you how you can sharpen a photo. There are many ways to sharpen a photo, but I'm gonna show you one way that you might not know. So. I'm gonna duplicate this photo by pressing Ctrl or Command J, then go to Filter, Other, and select High Pass. And with High Pass, we are getting this gray layer and it's gonna show these highlights, but I'm just gonna drop it to zero so you can see it. And here you wanna go for a radius where you start to see the highlights. So this might be way too much, so try to keep it low until you see these highlights coming out of this gray kind of photo now. Something like this will be fine. Press OK. And the only thing you have to do here is change the blend mode from normal to hard light. And if I compare the before, you can see it here. Let me zoom in a bit more. You can see here we get a photo really sharpened. Now you can also obviously sharpen your photos by Topaz Labs. They have a lot of software to sharpen photos, but this is just in Photoshop an easy way to sharpen a photo if you want to have it more sharp. You can also drop the opacity if it gets too much. So try to keep it real instead of making it look like worse photo. 
While I'm working in this photo now, I can show you the next trick and that is to boost your colors. So you can easily boost colors by applying an LUT that's in Photoshop. So what I usually do is at the end of my work, I like to apply a LUT, which you can find here. If you go to color lookup and 3D LUT file, you just select tree strip and you can see how this changes the colors. Now, obviously this is way too orange. So what I do is I drop the opacity to something maybe like 10 to 20, maybe even 30 sometimes. That's all depends on your photo until I got a nice result. So this is a really easy way to just get some nice colors in your work and try to do this at the end when you're done with everything. Crop your photos. So I got this awesome photo from Armin and what I would do here is I would crop this image so I can see more of the bird. Now you can select the crop tool by clicking here and here you can set the ratio. I have four by five. This is the Instagram ratio. And then I will just simply make this smaller so we can see this bird really good. Usually I would do this at the begin of my editing process. So I don't have to edit all the stuff I don't use in the final result. So making sure the bird is in the center somewhere there and we can see this really good now. And you press enter and you have a beautiful cropped image. And now I can start with editing and doing all the other good stuff. While I'm editing this photo, I might as well show the next one. And that is to make the shadows a bit darker. So you can see really nice black tones. So for this, I would create a new layer, then go to edit, select fill, select 50% gray, just like we did with the highlights and change the blend mode to overlay. And for this time, I'm gonna select the burn tool instead of the dutch tool for the darker areas. And here you wanna start off with highlights. So you wanna go for a range somewhere, maybe 30, between 30 and 50, depends on your photo. I think 30 is enough here. And what I would do is I would zoom in and I would start brushing the shadows a bit darker. So you have really nice black tones in the photo. So probably there, maybe there. And just simply go through all the darker areas in your photo to give it some nice shadows. Let me zoom in here a bit. Let's do a bit there, maybe a bit here. Let's do also here a bit of these dark areas. You can also make the brush bigger. So once you're brushed a bit of these, change these to midtones and drop the exposure lower. So maybe something between 10 and 20 and brush again to get these nice dark tones. Now it also brush here, here, maybe there. And just try to do this precisely so you don't brush the background, but only your main subject. Let's do a bit of this here, of these wings there, especially these here in the background. You can see that some nice shadows we have there. And then I would go to shadows and drop it really low, maybe like 5% and brush them again. Now I think this is pretty much done. And if I compare the before and after, let's zoom in here. You can see here we get nice shadows and obviously play with opacity if it's too much. You don't want to do it too much or else you just ruin the image. So let's do a bit more there so we can really see this part. Soften your photo. I got this other photo from Lisa and what I would like to do here is I want to soften this image. So I'm going to press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Then press right mouse and convert this to a smart object. This way we can always go back to the settings if we do something and then go to filter camera raw and in camera raw I can make this image softer just by going simply to texture and clarity so with the texture if we drop this you can see the image gets really soft you don't want to do this too much you have to find the balance between clarity and texture so I'm gonna drop the texture here and I'm gonna increase the clarity so we can still see the details of this fox and then I'm gonna go to detail and I'm gonna increase the sharpening. And this way we can still see nice sharp image, but the image gets really kind of soft and dreamy. And this is what I usually do when I create digital art. I always drop the texture and increase the clarity just to make it more dreamy. Now click okay and you're done. All right, the next one is to use gradients. So I got this other photo from Armin and what I would do here is let me first crop this really quick to make this a bit smaller like that. And then I would add a gradient. So I'm gonna go down here and select gradient. And for the color, I wanna pick something from its surrounding. So I'm gonna click on gradient here. And now if I click on this one here, double click on that one, click on color. I will sample some of this kind of brown grayish color.
color and make it a bit darker like that. Now I'm gonna press OK and I wanna copy this color. So I'm gonna click on this color and then click somewhere there. Then I'll take this one and drag it down. So it gets removed from our gradient and I will take this one and move it all the way to the right. Now let's press OK. And obviously I only wanna make a gradient on the outer parts. So I'm gonna change the style from linear to radial and put it in reverse so it's on the outer parts. And now I can simply just move this scale up and down to set the amount. I wanna make sure the line here in the center is still, still visible. It's not getting the gradient, just the outer parts. Now you can also move this around from up and down, maybe a bit up because its face is like the most important part. Press OK and then change the blend mode to soft light. And now you can easily see how easy I can make the outer parts a bit darker while having more focus on this animal. The next one is to lighten up the eyes. I do this all the time on all my edits. So I'm gonna create a new layer and then go to edit, select fill, select 50% gray, change the blend mode to overlay and just simply take the dodge tool, put the range to mid-tones somewhere around 50 and then zoom in on the eyes and just lighten them up. So you can see all the eyes really good. So don't do this too much because it will look pretty fake, but if you do this precisely, it makes your image a lot better. So you can see the difference here before and after. This might be a bit too much. So if you wanna keep your photo like a real photo, just do this slightly, maybe like this. If you wanna make it more like a fantasy kind of photo, you can really boost this one. Tip is to use Topaz Photo AI to sharpen your image and to get rid of noise. I have this photo that I took in the forest and if I zoom in here, you can see there's a lot of noise if I wanna use this photo in this size. So I wanna cut this photo out, I wanna crop it and I wanna see this bird really good. So what I did was I cropped this image, then I go into Topaz Photo AI and here I can get rid of all that noise and sharpen the image. So I'm gonna click on remove noise here and also sharpen. And here I can set the values that I want. So this all obviously depends on your own photo. So let's just get rid of this noise first and see how this affects this image. Look how clean this image gets on the right side. So this was the before, you can see all that noise and look at the right side, it's pretty much a clean image of this bird. That is pretty much it. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you wanna learn more about photo editing, Check out my other series where I edit everyone's wildlife photo and until then, catch you on the next video.